one stand. Yes, Drill Sergeant. Nobody ever goes through basic training and thinks to themselves, oh, I want to repeat that. Off the ground. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I figured my Marine Corps boot camp that I went through in 1978 was sufficient. I was unaware that I was going to have to go back to basic training. Picture yourself, a 59-year-old man, being thrust in, into a situation by which you have to be with 17 to 19-year-olds for three months. Words are pretty cheap. You don't sit around and talk about what you can do. You show people what you can do. In 1978, I enlisted the United States Marine Corps for three years. Got out and got into law enforcement. And then Desert Storm broke out and I went back into the military, hoping to get into combat operations. I've been deployed to Afghanistan, Kuwait, Asia. I was in the infantry and I joined the National Guard up to about 2009 and then I exited service. Today, I wanted to go back for four different reasons. One was because my son is in the Army Reserve near my home. The ability to serve with my son, which very few people get an opportunity to do. That was a biggie. Then the next one was I have about two more years to do to get my retirement from the United States Army. Number three, I felt like I wanted to serve my nation. I had much more to give. And number four, and most importantly, I felt like I was physically fit enough, good enough health, to do anything that anybody else could do out there and serve my nation in a productive way. So that was the decision-making process for me. So here I am. And I spoke to my wife about it. I, I busted out laughing. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny. Both of the kids laughed. Like, yeah, but yeah. not in a mean type of way. But you know what? I think you don't have to give up when you get older. You keep going. So I figured, why not? I think I'm extremely driven. I'm not going to take no for an answer and I'm not going to quit. I'm going to exhaust every possible avenue to achieve the desired end goal. There were some areas of conflict getting back in. I had to submit packages and hundreds of pieces of paper. After 14 months of going through this process, they said, okay, you can come to the recruitment station. We'll put you back through the physical one final time. That was physical number four, by the way. During the process of signing the contract and going through the paperwork, they told me, oh, and by the way, there's been a regulation change. You have to go back to basic training. I stopped and looked at them and said, what are you talking about? That's ridiculous. I didn't have to go back to basic training the last time. Why would I have to go back to basic training now? They said, well, the regulations changed. So I guess, I guess that's it, huh? You're not gonna do the contract. And I thought to myself, I'm 59 years old. I, I just really do not want to do this. But this is just another obstacle that's been laid before my feet to stop me from doing this. And I'm just gonna do it. You get off the bus and there's drill sergeants waiting for you and then that's where the fun and games begins at that point. The drill sergeants, when they saw me, were stunned. It became comical to me because I knew when a new drill sergeant would see me, they would instantly stop. There was like a moment of hesitation and they would kind of look at me and then at some point walk up to me and ask me, how old are you? I've never seen anything like this. This is bizarre. Going through the training with the younger people, there was a, a burden on me as well to perform the best I could to be an example to everyone there. People were really curious about why I was there and would tell me openly that it was really motivational and inspiring to have me there with them. If this 59-year-old old guy can do this, I can certainly do this. I'm not getting any breaks. I'm doing the same thing day in, day out. When they got punished, I was right there doing push-ups with them. Through the training, I won the confidence of the drill sergeants because I was able to, to do all the physical exercises, to do all the written tests, to do all the practical application tests without any problem whatsoever. I graduated in the top 10% of my class overall, but I was pretty glad to get out of there at that point. The single hardest thing to, to overcome in that environment is the age deviation and the way people think. The norms, 
the culture, what is acceptable, what is not acceptable. I was facing the adaptation of that. Other than that, the United States Army did, did an excellent job of organizing the training, administrating the training, the equipment, everything else leading up to that was stellar. It was much better than when I went through boot camp in 1978. It was excellent. It felt fantastic to wear the uniform again and represent my nation and be part of the team. It's great to be back in the organization with my brothers and sisters in uniform serving our nation and just being into something bigger than yourself. My personal mantra is be better. Look for something beyond yourself. Look for things that you can do and challenge yourself to make you a better person.